you know, phasing out of wrestling, phasing out of, of business, whatever you're doing. What, where do you go next and what do you do? What are your goals? Uh, we'll just hang around the wrestling. It's working out really well. My wife and I travel. That's it? That's what you're going to do? You're going to travel? You're just going to be done? You're going to fade off into the sunset? That's what we got? No, we'll, we'll still follow the boys uh, in the wrestling. We have uh, eight grandchildren, so they're in all sports, and we'll stay involved, and my wife and I, will. we travel quite a bit, too. So. Where do you like to go? Favorite place? Uh, we were in Europe. It's pretty nice. We really enjoyed it over there. Greece, Italy. Uh, we've been in. I've been. We've been in Greece as well. Yes, and not Italy, but we plan on that. Okay. Ultimately, what do you want to see? Briggs Elite. You're still involved with Maslin Perry, right? Uh, not too much. Not uh, too much. No. Uh, Coach McBurney's over there. He's doing a good job, and uh, you know, we let him do his thing there, and and uh, he's doing a great job. He's you know, been a outstanding coach and uh, wrestler for me for many years so i think the world of him could we see the the roar boys do we know where they're going to end up yet uh, we don't know exactly yet uh, right now it's working out pretty well at west shore so you know, it's up to the parents and see how they do and where does your daughter live actually she lived down in Maslin? She lives in Maslin, jackson yeah she lives in so they would go to jackson if they went to their home school that's correct but that's up to them. It's not your choice. Uh, correct. You're busy traveling, selling yeah. companies, and doing your own thing. <laughs> right? Working out pretty well right now. Yeah, so. it works out pretty well. And you know what I mean? The legacy you left at Maslin Perry. Holy smokes. We're very grateful. Right? I had a lot of good help and extremely grateful. I mean, look, look. You got Steve Luke, pharmacist now. Yeah. Heflin's a D1 coach at Oklahoma. Yeah. You got guys, man. I mean, they're coaching all over the place. Yeah, Slater's the uh, head coach for the Minnesota Storm. I was out in Washington State with him this summer. Good yeah. guys, man. Great guys. Uh, we were really blessed, and we couldn't be uh, more happier for those guys as well. What do you want, ultimately, your grandsons to get out of the sport? What do you want, you know, your son, he's a coach, he's a college coach. Yeah. What do you want kids to get out of the sport of wrestling? Um, learn how to respect the sport, first of all. So whatever you give out always comes back. And then, um, you know, just the life skills. It's, it's reinforcing your life skills and making the right choices and good decisions even later on in life. Okay. Do you want them to have a really cool scar so you can trick some country bumpkin into thinking a bear got you? <laughs> you remember you got me with that? Uh, yes, I like did. Like 1995 or 96, I yeah. asked you what was up with your neck, and you said a bear got me. Well, yeah, I actually broke it at uh, Junior Olympics. It was called back then, and uh, fractured and dislocated C5 and 6 in my neck. So it's a pretty healthy scar, if you can recall. It's not from a bear. Uh, no, it's not from the bear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got to get going. I know you got grandkids to go see and mm -hmm. traveling to do and companies to sell. You got anything else for me? Uh, no, just appreciate everything. We had a great time today watching these kids and just helping them develop, and that's the main purpose right now. Coach Riggs, you're the man. Always look up to you. Thanks for the time. Happy holidays, yeah, and, and uh, it's always great to see you, man. You as well. Good luck moving forward and enjoy the traveling because that's one of my favorite things. I appreciate it.